weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. Presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. A staple here in the Ozarks are Springfield Cardinals. Today, we're here to learn about the science behind this green grass. So Brock, you are Director of Field Operations here at the Springfield Cardinals and you wear many hats, but let's take us back to the beginning. Who are you and what brought you and your interest level into this type of uh, line of work? Okay. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Lamar, Missouri, about an hour and a half from here. Uh, grew up on a farm, uh, raised beef cattle, uh, crops, and helped my dad, you know, day-to-day -day operations. So that's kind of where I got my uh, background as far mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, the farming, I guess, background. and. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I mow straight and the patterns that we do and everything. <laughs> and a lot of that goes back to the hay field. The hay field with driving the tractor on uh -huh. the And uh, you know, I remember you you know, you get kind of bored sitting out on the tractor all afternoon, so <laughs> you know, I was always had like competitions in my mind like how straight am I going? So what led you from the farm to to start your education in, in turf grass management? Well, I love the game of baseball. Uh, grew up uh, playing baseball, you know, from young age all the way up through high school. Uh, so I always played, you know, summer ball and all like that, and really enjoyed it. Just like being outside, love being out on the field. Just but it was there. It's and, pulling uh, you. Yeah, it was pulling me in. Well, you know, there's a lot of science behind um, growing grass. You know, it's it's not a simple just throw stuff out there and, right. and hope for the best. So, um, how did you finesse the technique, and how did you? Um, I'm sure there's a lot of on-the-job training. You're, you're in season and out of season. So talk about that science behind um, managing this. So we uh, built the field in 2003. We had a Bermuda uh, a turf. And then uh, what we did is we had to overseed that every year to get to green up early in the spring. So what we did is uh, we kind of went into it looking as far as uh, what can we do to uh, make it better. So what we did is uh, about five years ago, we actually transitioned from Bermuda to uh, bluegrass. So let's talk about uh, the infield. We're talking about the soil that mm -hmm. we're standing on. What are we seeing and how do you prepare it for a game? This is probably one of the biggest things that's really changed over the last probably five, six years is the infield mix. Uh, ours is a high clay content. Uh, and so what we're looking at, especially after a, a baseball game, is I'm looking when I'm just dragging the field after uh, after the game, mm -hmm. is looking for like a cleat in and cleat out mark. Okay. With the spikes uh -huh. on, the, on the shoes. So if I see a big blowout or something like that, that's not what I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, it's really uh, advanced uh, and it's actually made my job a little easier. So. And so how does this affect the play of the game? Well, not even, or let's say uh, probably 80 to 85% of the game is actually playing on the dirt. Mm -hmm. And so it's, Actually, where I spend a lot of time at. Uh, we probably water the skin uh, four to five times a day. Uh, we actually have sprinkler heads that we run at night mm -hmm. to just kind of keep this and moist. It just keeps it moist and packed. Yes. There's daily upkeep to the field. Right. So kind of talk through what you and your employees are doing in that day-to-day -to, -day to maintain um, this field for the bears and the cardinals. Okay. Yeah, it does. It takes a, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Uh, on a daily basis, especially during a, a day game mm -hmm. uh, or a nightly game, uh, we kind of start about 8.30 in the morning. So we come out, we'll uh, prepare the mound and the home plate areas. Uh, we use a special packing clay. Uh, it's almost like a gumbo type material that we put in that mm -hmm. to really pack it down. Once that's done, uh, we uh, start on the bullpens, kind of do the same techniques there. And then we usually start about 10, 10.30, we start mowing. And uh, we mow on a daily basis when there's wow. when there's a team in town uh -huh. playing. All this time we're checking uh, like our moisture meters. We actually have ten moisture meters in the uh, mm -hmm. field, so we're checking that for uh, temperature and moisture uh, within the turf itself. And we're just kind of keeping an eye on everything. Uh, we do a lot of airifications uh, when the team's out of town. We'll either uh, core, which we're actually pulling the plugs out of the turf, or we're slicing it just trying to get moisture and uh, air down into the root system. Let's talk about how the field affects the play of the game, you know, um, from the beginning of the season when we're talking, baseball's a long season. You've got, yeah. you know, the early spring to, to early fall. Mm -hmm. So how do you maintain that uh, seasonality throughout? Uh, we kind of, you know, we try to 
actually start out the uh, the hydro cuff, maybe a little taller in the spring. Okay. Um, then we take it down during the summer, and then we'll kind of bring it back up in the springtime. So, you know, maybe thinking of young people uh, or, or newly into different careers that might want to uh, join this line of work, what advice would you give them, um, whether they're, they're um, switching careers, new into it, uh, studying in college, or just fascinated and interested in, in turf grass management? That's a good business to get into. It's uh, long hours, mm -hmm. but it's enjoyable. I mean, if you love the game of baseball, I mean, it's great. Uh, you get to watch a lot of baseball, but at the same time, I advise them just to get in and get their hands dirty. I mean, get after it. Uh, you're going to learn from your mistakes, kind of like I did when I was younger, but uh, you learn from them, uh, and you just kind of roll with the punches, really.